Hey guys, Thunder E here, and um, this is a different video style. Um, a little impromptu because I'm not the one actually doing the review here, uh, at least the first part of the review. Um, we're going to talk about two different blue microphone products. One is the Yeti, the other one is the Mikey, and uh, compiled by two different people. Of course, one is me, one of course is Daniel. And I wanted to show you two products from Blue that we thought were interesting that you might like, especially if you're jumping into uh, recording audio on YouTube. YouTube. So we're going to start off with uh, the Yeti and then we'll go into the Mikey and you can hear from Daniel directly as he's tested out the Yeti and of course from me at the end of this video talking about the Mikey. So let's go ahead and check it out. What's up guys Daniel here and today we'll be looking at a quick review of the Blue Yeti Studio microphone. You can find this on Amazon for about 150 bucks, and for the price you pay for, it's worth it. Most of it is metal. The only pieces that are not metal are the knobs. So this thing is pretty hefty for a microphone, which is great because if the table moves, uh, you don't have to worry about this tipping over. So it, this thing does have some weight to it. And you can also take this off of this stand and put it on another microphone stand or another shock mount. It connects by using a mini USB cable, and the cable it comes with is really thick so you don't lose quality on that either. Also, it has the option of changing into four different pickup patterns, which is very versatile. If you don't know about these different pickup patterns, the manual shows you lots of pictures and what situations is best for each pattern. For the most part, this microphone is great for voiceovers, vocals, and generally podcasts, but it is also capable of recording instruments as well. I also use this for gaming and my friends said that this microphone sounds way better than my Siberia 650s. With the Studio Edition, they also give you free software to edit your recordings, so that is also a big plus. So this voiceover was recorded all on this microphone, and overall I think this is an awesome microphone for doing voiceovers and podcasts. So if you're looking for one, I would highly recommend this Blue Yeti line. Alright, so here's the Mikey. Uh, it plugs directly to your iPhone 6s via the lightning uh, connector port and it doesn't need any application uh, necessary to actually power or run this thing. You've got an adapter that comes with it and a carrying case so you can plug in the instrument if you choose to to record directly to your iPhone 6s. And as I mentioned, you can use any application that has uh, video recording settings. You've got three settings on the mic key which you can switch with the switcher behind for loud, auto and silent and that's pretty much it. Uh, plugging in the mic key, it gives you LED indication for which setting you're using at that point. Uh, you've also uh, got the ability to plug in uh, a mini USB port uh, to actually power it separately. So let's listen to some audio recordings from all three settings. All right, so I'm recording directly to my iPhone here, and this is without my key, so you guys get a good idea of how the bass recording from the iPhone 6s actually sounds. So do about 15 seconds, and then we'll move to the different audio recordings of my key. So I'm recording off uh, the mic key connected to the iPhone 6s. I'm, the setting is on loud, which is the first setting on uh, the mic key. We'll do this for about 15 seconds. We'll switch to auto and then we'll go ahead from there. With the mic key on auto. Auto is the middle setting, as you can see the light is in front. And this is one you can use in almost any use case uh, situation according to, what my key, um, according to what Blue Microphone says. So we'll see how well audio is from here and we will switch it over to silent next now the next one is silent and I have to come really close to the microphone for it to pick up and this is something that you will hear so giving you guys a good idea how well uh, silent actually works and if this is a useful audio format for Mikey so there you have it guys, two microphones from Blue. The first one, the Yeti Studio, is a fantastic microphone. As you can see uh, with Daniel recording that whole video off the Yeti Studio, does a really good job. And especially if you're jumping in to start recording on, on YouTube or doing some audio recording, that's not a bad place to start at 150 bucks. It's really, it's really a good price point and it's really solid and it's something I can definitely recommend to anyone. Now, uh, the Mikey, not so much. Now the Mikey itself 
its pricing and also just its performance is not as good as I expected it to be. Uh, you have three different settings with, of course, the uh, loud auto as well as silent. And auto was a little bit better than the iPhone 6s, but not by much. So uh, yes, there is some improvement, but it's not enough for me to warrant to tell you to actually pick that up. Um, so if I was saying, if you're looking at doing something on, um, on the iPhone, the Mikey might not be the microphone for you. The good aspect of Mikey is that you can, of course, cue in instruments or things like that. So if you're playing guitar or something, you can, of course, record it that way on your iPhone if you choose to. But overall, uh, I would say the Yeti Studio is definitely the better pick here uh, for you. But guys, if you have any questions, any comments about either of these two microphones, let us know. Uh, you can pick up both the Yeti Studio um, and the Mikey if you want to. Uh, we have the Amazon links for you guys down below, but I definitely will recommend the Yeti Studio uh, just from the kind of quality we've seen here in this review. So any questions, any comments, guys, thank you very much for watching. We appreciate it. Um, if you don't like the style with me in front and just kind of talking in front of my webcam, let me know, I will change it. I just wanted to try something new and different. Um, so again, don't forget to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel and always enjoy your entertainment. Thank you.